Woking murder. Cops find handwritten note in tragic Sarah Sharif's home which names the 10-year-old's killer. Cops are understood to have found a handwritten note in the Woking home where a young girl was found dead, reports claim. The horror memo allegedly named young Sarah Sharif's killer, according to the Daily Mail. Sarah's body was tragically found at her home in Horsell, Surrey in the early hours of Thursday, August 10. Cops rushed to launch a murder probe, before revealing the three people they want to speak to about the 10-year-old's death had fled the UK. It has now been claimed a note was also in the home when the force arrived. The mail said it read, Whoever sees this, it was XXXX who killed. By beating. I am running away because I am scared. It was said to be written by a family member, scribbled in large letters on lined paper. The mail said the alleged memo was thought to be left for police to find. The son understands Sarah's mum Olga Sharif had no prior knowledge of the note. Tributes poured in for Sarah in the days after her death as her father was named locally as Irfan Sharif, 41. The brother of her father, Imran Sharif, last night claimed she died after falling down the stairs and breaking her neck. However, the youngster's mum slammed that as a lie. Days prior it was revealed Sarah was known to social services. Police in Pakistan said officers were still hunting Sarah's father, who is said to have fled the UK along with his other brother Faisal Malik. Partner B and Ash and five children ranging from 1 to 13 years old. UK authorities now face an uphill battle to get the group, all known to Sarah, back to Britain. This is because the UK does not have a formal extradition treaty with Pakistan, making it difficult to get the runaways back for questioning. A post-mortem in recent days revealed that young Sarah suffered multiple and extensive injuries which are likely to have been caused over a sustained and extended period of time. Department SUP Mark Chapman said at the time. While the post-mortem has not provided us with an established cause of death at this time, we now know that Sarah had suffered multiple and extensive injuries over a sustained and extended period. This has significantly changed the nature of our investigation, and we have widened the time scale of the focus of our inquiry. As a result, we are trying to piece together a picture of Sarah's lifestyle but we cannot do this without the public's help. Anyone who knew Sarah or her family at all is being urged to come forward via the investigation portal.